In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect your BuddyBoss app to your WordPress site. Before you can begin, you'll need to get your app ID and key from your BuddyBoss account. Log into your account and head over to Subscriptions and then Apps, and then find the app ID that you want to use for this site and click Manage. Make a note of your app ID and your app key. These are going to be used to connect your app to your primary site and also to your staging and development sites. Next, let's go to the Downloads tab to download the BuddyBoss app plugin. And from here, we can download the BuddyBoss app plugin by clicking on Download. Now let's head to the WordPress admin to connect your app. So here we are in the WordPress admin for the site that I want to connect to BuddyBoss app. You'll need to have the BuddyBoss app plugin installed on your WordPress site. So let's go into Plugins and let's go ahead and click Add New. And then we'll click Upload Plugin, select Choose File, and then Upload the Plugin. And I'll click Install Now. And then let's click Activate Plugin. Now we need to jump into the app settings to connect your app. Hover over BuddyBoss app in your WordPress menu and click on Connect. On this screen, you can connect your app. There are two types of sites you can connect, primary and secondary. The first site that you connect will be your primary site. This should be a live site, not a staging or development environment. You can only generate builds of your apps or submit publishing requests through your primary site. You can also only connect to your App Store accounts in your primary site. The builds of your app you publish to the app stores are known as release apps, and these will only connect to your primary site. Secondary sites allow you to connect other sites, such as your staging or development environments, and view them in what are known as test app builds. While logged into your test app, you will be able to switch the app's connection between your primary and secondary sites, which makes it really easy to test your app against the different plugins and data from your live site and your staging sites. This allows you to make changes on your secondary sites and view them in your app without affecting your published apps. And if you've paid for developer access, you can also preview your code changes in your test app, which we will cover in separate tutorials. For more information on the differences between release app and test app builds, as well as instructions for how to generate them, watch our Generating App Builds tutorial. For now, let's go ahead and connect this WordPress site as our primary site. We'll enter the app ID and app key from your BuddyBoss account, and then we'll click Connect. And there you are. You've connected your primary site to your app. If you want to disconnect your primary site, for example, if you wish to change it to another site, you can click the disconnect button. Be advised though, this will immediately disconnect your app from the site. If you have any sites published in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store, they will cease working until you connect a new primary site. Any builds you currently have being generated will be canceled, and any publishing requests you have in progress will be put on pause until you reconnect. You'll see at the bottom of this page, a list of secondary sites currently connected using this app ID and key. Currently, we don't have any secondary site set up yet. So let's jump into a different site and connect it to our app as a secondary site. Here I am on a new site, which I'm going to connect as a secondary site. To get started, we'll want to upload the BuddyBoss app plugin to this website as well. And then we can go into BuddyBoss app and we'll click on connect. Let's go ahead and enter the exact same app ID and app key that we entered before and then click connect. As you've already connected a primary site using these details, you'll see this prompt confirming if you want to connect this site as a secondary site. If you'd like to use the site as your primary site instead, you'll need to click cancel, disconnect your current primary site, and then come back here and connect again. Let's go ahead and click yes to connect this site as a secondary site. And there you go, it's connected. You'll see the confirmation that the site has been connected as a secondary site. You can disconnect it at any time, which will prevent it from being accessible in your test app builds. You can also view and disconnect secondary sites from your primary site. Let's jump back to there to take a look. Here you can see our secondary site has been added to the list at the bottom. 
If we want to disconnect any secondary site, we can click the disconnect link over here. You can also disconnect any of your sites from your BuddyBoss account. This is especially useful if you lose access to a site. Let's go take a look. I'm back on the apps page of the subscription section. Let's click manage next to the app ID that we connected. In this window, we can see all of the primary and secondary sites connected to your app. You can disconnect any by clicking the disconnect link next to each one. Once your app is connected, you can start setting it up and generating your first builds, which we've covered in detail in separate tutorials. To find out more about how you can use secondary sites to experiment with changes in a test app build before releasing it to your members, make sure to check out our test app tutorial.